So in this video, uh, we are trying to demonstrate a small uh, VeChain testbed uh, we established here at our office at InfoBeyond Tech. So in this testbed, we have a canvas over here. Uh, the baud rate is uh, 500 kbps of this CAN bus and we connected uh, three ECUs with this CAN bus. There is one ECU over here, another ECU over here and there is another ECU over here. So in these ECUs uh, we are trying to uh, replicate some uh, CAN communication that happens in the real car. So this ECU, uh, it is connected to a light sensor over here. If you see, this is a light sensor. Uh, this is connected with this ECU and this ECU collects this sensor information and then uh, it transmits this information into this CAN bus. And before transmitting, it's applying our VHN solution. It's it encrypt those information and tra transmit over this bus. And there is another issue over here. Uh, there is a rain sensor that is connected with this issue. So this issue collects this um, sensor information and send those information into the bus. So this is also have VeChain installed in it. So before transmitting the sensor data into the CAN bus, it encrypts those information. Uh, so that means the both ECUs, they're transmitting sensor information periodically, like every uh, 100 milliseconds. That's how we set up. And then there is another issue that receive those uh, sensor informations and it also have VeChain installed in this issue. So the encrypted information or encrypted data both 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 sensor or data, encrypted data it receives and then uh, it decrypts the data and try to read those data and based, based on the status of the sensor uh, it try to activate um, at the headlight. So it has a headlight connected to it through a relay and also it has a wiper blade that is connected uh, with this ECU. So this ECU actually getting this in sensor information and based on the status of the sensor, it activates uh, both uh, like headlight circuit or the uh, wiper blade circuits accordingly. So that means if the light sensor sends data such that it's dark, uh, then it activates the headlight. So that's how the automatic headlight um, activation usually works in the car. So the cars, they, 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 they support this feature. So when there is a dark, uh, it's automatically activate or turn on the headlight. So that's how that communication happens in the car. So one is you connected to a sensor, light sensor collects the light data and it transmits those data through the CAN bus and then another ECU that connects to the headlight uh, receives those sensor information and ba based on the status of the sensor it activates uh, the headlight. But in the real car this communication uh, happens unencrypted without any encryption before sending and after receiving. But here we are doing the similar communication 
but we have added uh, the encryption, VHN encryption before sending the sensor information and also in the receiver end after receiving those information. So now we'll demonstrate that these communications, this real-time sensor communication through CAN bus uh, using VHN solution is uh, is, is, is it feasible in, in real time? The, the encryption delay or the, the overhead of the VHN solution is uh, feasible for real time communication or not. So now we'll activate the light sensor. If you see that we'll turn off the light and you see this, uh, this, this ECU uh, sends that information and transmits and the, and the headlight is um, turned on. So see, there is some encryption, uh, those, uh, the VHN over, overhead, uh, but still uh, it feels very responsive. Can you do it a couple more times? So when you turn off the light, it's turn on. And again, when there is, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty responsive. Okay, good. So now we'll, we'll this, so this is light sensor. Now we will demonstrate uh, this, uh, this, uh, this rain sensor. So rain, rain sensor basically, uh, basically they have uh, this water. If it has water over here, then it should activate. So I put some water. So, so you activate the, So when the water is gone, it stops. And again, when there is some water, so. So this this is this, so this is uh, some s uh, simple uh, sensor data communication over canvas. We set up this test bed here at our office, and the next we'll um, integrate uh, these uh, VHN ECUs uh, into real car. Uh, into, uh, so instead of this this canvas. Uh, uh, these sensor communications will happen through the real car canvas, uh, and we'll, we'll uh, demonstrate that uh, integration, which an integration with the real car, into a next video.